Hi Year 5, it's Mrs Gibbons here, hope you're all well. So we're on to session one of our reading this week. Uh, it's going to be slightly different this week as session one we are going to be using our book talk skills but looking at some images. And then session two this week we'll be looking at a text that accompanies these images. So, um, so today is all about using our inference skills, so looking for clues in the pictures to give us some ideas about what might be happening and also uh, trying to think of some good vocabulary that we could use uh, to describe the pictures as well. So as usual, I will model uh, an example for you just to get you started and then uh, you can annotate. I think I'd like to choose two from the sheet to annotate. Obviously, if you want to do more, that's absolutely great. There's a selection to choose from. They're all on a document which is on the website, which you can print out or obviously alternatively, um, you can just look at the document on your computer and make your notes in your science book. So if we look at this first image then, um, obviously, I don't know where it is. Um, I'm assuming it's obviously a, in a country that is very cold, by, judging by the look of the weather, there's a lot of snow. Uh, it looks sort of very misty. Um, I can tell that the wind must be blowing quite strong, strongly, quite fiercely, because the trees are bending. Uh, in the wind. So I know the weather there must be really quite harsh. And if you notice here, a tree has actually fallen onto the ground and I can tell that it must have hit the ground with great force because the snow all around that tree has been thrown into the air. I think this image uh, gives the impression of it being quite dark and menacing. It's very dark colours. It doesn't look like a hospitable place. I'm not sure I'd like to be there. So I can tell from this picture that there's quite a sort of dark menacing mood. Okay, so that's just an idea of the kind of things that have occurred to me as I've been looking at that image. As I say, on the sheet there are a few more, so I'll just go through them with you on the slides. Uh, they will obviously be on the sheet for you to look at. So this one's obviously a mountain. What do you think, what occurs to you as you look at that image? Can you think of any vocabulary that you could use to describe that image? Can you think of any questions you might ask? Maybe who's taken that image or how have they got there? Again, this one, you know, what is round that bend that we can't see? Where's the light coming from, maybe? Uh, you might wonder who those people are, where they're going. So again, think, try and think of some useful vocabulary to describe sort of the conditions and the weather, the landscape. Okay, there's another one that you could choose to annotate. Okay, and there's your final one. Okay, so I will leave you to get on with that. Uh, enjoy, and I will see you tomorrow for session two to look at the text that accompanies these images. Okay, take care. Bye.